will that actually lead to the swap back as Mad Life's low himself? Yeah, they have TP still, though. This could be dangerous. No Flower going to take a lot of damage from the turret. Is Shy going to come back down to the bottom side? Looks like the answer is no. They're just going to let Mad Life not die until the flash comes through. Mad Life, is he going to go down? Yes, he does eventually. Song Yoon pursuing that kill through the turret. Have the Void Rush. So they go for Dragon's Ixu might be soloed by Shy in the top lane. The sword! After the ultimate takes it down. The uh, Sunfire Cape is just excellent for Shen. Uh oh, Space uh, getting a little frisky in the bottom side. Now the TP going to come in, but Shy is already there with his ultimate. Ixu's there, but how much can they do? Space out of mana right now. Ixu get on the space. They are going to get that kill. Mad Life getting low, but Shy still there, ticking away. Ambition coming up. And will he get another sword kill? Ah, uh oh. That was almost great. Ambition is so low, what is he doing there? He was very low out of the... In the lane swap was quite unusual and not something that many teams will do. Now, they don't know that there's an Ambition here. They do see him right now, and there you go. There's the stun, and that's going to be the problem as Snowflower just gets yanked around and goes down instantly. And Braum and Kog'Maw so good together. Lyra trying to get the knock on Mad Life will fall. So nice return gank right there. Shy has the stand United. He's not going to use it. Interestingly, he could have gotten interrupted there by a Hecarim ultimate. Wasn't really set up. Chaos Storm comes down. So first one was taken Snowfire by CJ. Goes for a walk. Okay, there we go. Shenold coming through. They want Snowflower. He drops the box, but Shy's already there. Goodbye, Snowflower. Eats an essence flux, and he will go down because Shen is not going to be used for engages here. Level 16, plus 850 health, and Ixu found a lot of people, he's dead. Found a bio-arcane barrage for the last shot. This Braum, here comes the ultimate, on to Ambition. Shy gets himself right into the back of the pit, and now they're forcing Anarchy to fight at almost no HP. Uh, will they be able to do much of anything at all? And here comes Ixu. Ixu already low, going to miss his Onslaught of Shadows. Ambition on the side right now, and there we go. Space already low for the back of the pit, but can they actually finish this off or not? Coco did take a lot of damage, and look at this. Anarchy may be coming back, but there's a kill, and here comes the cleanup. Anarchy in a lot of trouble, slow from Winter's Bite, and we have the Living Artillery keeping on going. Bad Life still at full HP. He's going to get it, and pops the concussive blows himself. While Shy just TPs back in. He wants Vicky, and there's the taunt. No other follow up damage, though, so it won't pick up anything for the summoner. There's nothing you can do, and honestly, Anarchy, if they don't get the Hector and Flank, Ambition will be caught again, though. Ambition not having a great game for being caught outright here, but he is far enough ahead that it's not going to matter. Song Yoon just eliminated from that fight instantly. They're hunting him down. Not another living artillery is going to hit, though. And Anarchy will be chased off. Eventually, Coco getting very dangerously close to another Q. Ixu going to have to body block that, but the W will do the work. And Coco with a double. There's always another Q, Monte Cristo, when we're talking about Runeglaive Ezreal. Uh, is this going to stop the inhibitor from going down? Two members of Anarchy still with gray screens, and that's not going to help out. Here we go. Snowflower is going to be the first to fall. Another kill for Coco is really starting to stack it up. Being broken, but I agree with you. You have to wonder how Ambition will come back from once again. You know, this happened multiple times in his career. His position being threatened. It happened when he was in the mid lane. Now it's happening in the jungle. Okay, I'm not sure what Sanyin was doing there, but he is actually going to live. There comes the Glacial Fisher. Vicky now in the front line had to save his ally, and Vicky will pay for Sanyin's uh, positioning there with his own life. Now everybody on the run, Coco with the kill on the thresh. Coco keeps on moving through, double kill for him, and that will be the triple for the Runeglaive Ezreal. He'll end the game 7-0 and 4 as Song Yoon back in the base, and that is going to be the end. CJ picks up the first game in this best of three. A very clean win from CJ. Maybe some of Ambition's poor positioning. This is, uh-oh, here comes the dive. Parallel Conjurgent versus Sports of the Flash. There's a double taunt coming in from Shy. Shy not on top of the Equalizer right now. He's dodged a lot of this damage. Overheat from Rumble. Now they can't get any more. Ixu is low. Ixu is not going to take another turret hit, but Shy expertly dodging those abilities. Dive has been failed. Ambition with a really long tunnel. And here we go. Ambition comes on with the Stand United. Nice. 
turnaround kill from CJ. Yeah, the communication from CJ is so much more on point really by Really good. The question mark for Anarchy, why are they doing this? We see the battle in Bolin. Space is falling low. So Sung, you know, got the consistent damage. is in the circle falling. Same just Snowfire flashes and gets the kill. Sung, he needs to floor. First responding has the ultimate again. Will we see another steal? Oh, it hits Snowflower, but doesn't get the low Lyra. And isn't going to get the... Oh, steals the red buff. There you go. Nice little burst. So Lyra had to use his fight, and Mad Life now coming in. There's a Shen ultimate. I think he's just going to be bounced back and chain CC'd again. What a good Shen ult from Shy. Mickey again has to use the Spirit Rush. Ambition coming through. Nice knockup. Mickey is low. Mickey dies. The follow up auto. The health potion, maybe like 400 units from base. Mickey actually taunted into tower range, misses the charm as well. Shy doesn't really have any semblance of damage, but he maxes E second, so this might be a kill. Okay then. <laughs> well, Equalizer goes down. It's a day late and a just a heap of dead tails in the bottom lane. Robo goes for the all-in play, has the ult again. Speaking of ults, puts it through, misses. Shy's there once again with the taunt, and they pick up the kill. That is some really impressive synergy and coordination play. Those big anachronisms where, look, not a bad teleport play. Coco's going for a kill assassination <laughs> mission of himself. Not in space. Weeding out those fifth dragon, although Anarchy going for the desperation, okay. Baron. Nice call. They see space on the bottom side. No reason not to do this. This is a slip up by CJ. All right, doing damage, but they're not doing that much damage. They haven't hit massive item time, and Shy's going to get there soon. It's down to 4,000 health. Go, Shy. Can you be the hero? Here comes the true shot barrage. Coco takes out Rumble immediately. Anarchy will get the Baron, but at what cost? Double taunt right there from Shen. Lear going to pop over the wall, but guess who's waiting? It is Ambition. Double kill. Chrono Break back into the big. Coco is there and waiting. Triple kill now for Coco. Mickey, he's going to try and get away. Spirit Rush will save him from this fight. He's got his flash. He's not going to die. Uh, Snowflower is just going to recall and then die to Coco, who gets a delayed Quadra. And Space will get the bottom inhibitor. Well, you can, you can see with the taunts <laughs> that uh, Anarchy have definitely put the cue in the rack this game. They've, uh, <laughs> they've had enough. The Space spent this whole time, what, Swift pushing a couple of turrets, maybe? Uh, he's gotten two so far and an inhibitor. And now he gets a surrender. Well, that was abrupt. 25 minutes, Anarchy surrenders to CJ Entis. They fall to that 9K deficit.